Lesson 9.5, Centimeters and Meters. Measuring in meters is different than measuring in centimeters. It takes fewer meters than centimeters to measure an object because a meter is longer than a centimeter. 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. A real door is about 200 centimeters tall. It's also about two meters tall. This would be 200 centimeters and it would be about two meters. There's 100 centimeters in a meter, so 200 centimeters would be two meters. So if you look here, this is a meter stick. It is 100 centimeters. This is one little centimeter. And this is numbered by fives. It's counting by fives. You can see a five, 10, 15, 20. It goes all the way to 100. So each little line is one centimeter. We can see 100 centimeters would be one meter. We can measure long objects to the nearest centimeter, then measure them again to the nearest meter. We me measure a regular refrigerator. My refrigerator was 176 centimeters. And that's about two meters because 176 is close to 200. If there's 100 for each meter, and this is close to 200, it's about two meters. If we measure the chair and it's 90 centimeters, that's about one meter because 90 is close to 100. 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. So the chair is about one meter tall. A long lunch table would be easier to measure in meters because we would need fewer measures. We would just need about four meter sticks. My inch ruler is about 30 centimeters. See that at the end? If I used this to measure that long table, I would have to take a lot of measures. A piece of gum would be easier to measure in centimeters because it is short. We could use a short measuring tool that is easy to carry and move around. Here, we need to circle the word that makes the sentence true. It says, a sofa is two, is it centimeters or meters long? Which one would make the sentence true? Which one sounds like it makes sense? Would a sofa be two centimeters or do you think it would be two meters? If you said meters, you're right. If the sofa was two centimeters, that means the sofa would be about this long. I don't think anyone could sit on a sofa that size. This one says a crayon is eight. Is it centimeters or meters long? Do you remember how big my meter stick was compared to the little centimeter? If you said centimeters, you're right. If the crayon was eight meters long, it would be so big nobody would be able to pick it up. So it's about eight centimeters long. Here it's telling us to write the lengths in order from shortest to longest. So shortest would be first, longest would be last. So out of these, which do you think is the shortest? Do you remember how long one meter is for centimeters? 100 centimeters is one meter. Here we have two meters. Here we have 300 centimeters. So 100 centimeters would be the shortest. And put a comma. So which one would be the next from shortest to longest. We used this one. If you said two meters, you're right. 
that would be 200 centimeters. We put a comma for the next one, and we used 100 centimeters and two meters, that leaves 300 centimeters. Now we put them in order from shortest to longest. So as you're thinking about centimeters and meters, remember how long my meter stick is. Look at how long it is for 100 centimeters and look at how tiny one centimeter is. In our next lesson, 9.6, we're gonna estimate lengths in meters. I hope you have a wonderful day, like always, and Again, like always, I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.